So a lot of vloggers, they come here and they want to show something like provocative, something that people will actually watch. So they go to like the city center of Moldova where there's like beggars and stuff. And then they, they show that it's some like shitty city. It's broken down, but they haven't walked anywhere outside of that area. And like, I think Kishinev is really developed. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, only English. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No, no. I don't know what she's saying. What? <laughs> okay, I don't know what you're saying. Uh, English. No Romansky, but... Okay. Yeah. No, English. Espanol. There's a lot of there's a lot of good cars here too. You got a Mercedes Benz. I see so many Mercedes Benz and BMWs and expensive cars everywhere. You know? Um, so I don't know, there's something going on with this city that I don't really get yet. We got nice parts of the city, like really developed buildings, but we also got houses like these. Check this out. Crumbling stairways. Graffiti. I don't know what happened to this house. Even over here. So, Kishinev, the capital city of Moldova, is a mix of developed buildings and, uh, and also broken down buildings like that one. And it kind of adds grit to the city and I like that. Got some purple stairs over here too. Look at that. I've never seen purple stairs before anywhere. All right, so while I eat this really sloppy hot dog, I do want to check out, I do want to show you guys this really nice park. It's in like the city center. I'm gonna flip the camera here. And I'll be honest, it's, it's not as big as Central Park in New York City, but it's got a lot of structure. Trash bin bench, trash bin bench literally all over the place. This is how, maybe this is how all these parks get so clean. Cause there's so many small trash bins and even the trash bins, they don't look ugly. They look like they look fancy and they blend in with everything too. They're not the ugly ones like they have in New York city where it's just like the ugly trash bins in the side where no one actually wants to throw away their trash. Like this actually blends in pretty well. What's up man? She escaped the city center for a bit just to check out a different part of the city. I'm on the eastern part. I forget what the neighborhood's called, but this is pure residential. Check this out. So I think these are like maybe five, six story buildings. Um, I don't know how much it costs rent per month, but it's a pretty cool area. And we're gonna walk down there. And that's like the downtown of this area. Let me, let me check out what it's called again. Uh, I'll post it down below. But a lot of neighborhoods in, uh, in Kishinev are, are very similar to this area over here. Now I'm in the uh, northwestern part of the city, northwest of downtown. And I wanted to show like what a normal working class neighborhood looks like. More residential, uh, no real like restaurants and bars and nightclubs and all that stuff, but just like how people live. I think this is like middle class neighborhood, maybe upper middle class. I'm gonna stick with maybe middle class, but we'll flip the camera and check out what the houses here look like. Houses, we got apartment buildings over there. We got big apartment buildings. This is like a new building over here. Check that out. Dream home residence. If you want your dream home, come to Kishinev, Moldova. You know, for the real deal. I wish I had more interactions with people and I could talk to more people. Hey, check this out. We got the billboards of Moldova. A visa, uh, the legal European, if you want to get a, I guess, European citizenship, call this number over here. Haila Nunca in Europe, don't know what that means. Lucre, Lucru. Uh, Germania, Germany, Poland, Estonia. I don't know, I think it's Belgium. I guess if you want to get work there, something else here. I have no idea what this is. Uh, if you want to go to Europe, I guess, or make money in Europe, another sign for um, European citizenship or visa or something like that. 
Yeah, a lot of these signs are the same. It's basically like, if you want to leave Moldova, then sign up for, or call this number. So it's kind of sad a lot of people want to leave this country, but at the same time, I can kind of, I can kind of see why. Um, salaries are low, you know, but we'll talk about this more. I gotta go. But we got the honey bee raft. So Moldova is known for its honey. Everywhere I go in every market, I just see people trying to sell, trying to sell me honey. And I think this is Bike Hub. This is kind of like uh, maybe, I'm not sure. So this is, this is like, you can, I, I guess you can rent like one of these scooters and go across the city. Uh, so Bald and Bankrupt and all the other vloggers that tried to make Kishinov look bad just for the views. I'm sorry, man. Why'd you have to do it? We're gonna go back home. I have to try to catch the bus. I don't know how to catch the bus. We'll see if we can find it maybe that way. So, until next time.